back with Adi Natal because we had the feeling that we didn't cover everything. Adina, what did we miss? miss? Well, I think uh, we basically missed two things. Uh, you talked about the 300,000 people that visited the center, and I think this is one revolution is that 75 people that are either deaf, blind, or deaf, blind, work and make their living at the center. And the other, other revolution is exactly those hundreds of thousand people that came to see the show. And I think that everyone that sees the show goes out a little bit different than it comes in. And I think it's a transformation. Like what happened to us tonight. Okay. We, can, we can attest to that. Okay. And I think uh, this is the big thing. It's not about 75 people. It's about hundreds and thousands of people. And hopefully, you know. The effect. Yeah. You're talking about the effect. Yeah millions of people and we saw how people all over the world reacted you know we were at the lift festival in london uh, we stayed there for two weeks and we got such good reviews that after one week people were fighting for tickets you know i was there one evening at the theater and someone comes towards me and uh, said oh please maybe can you sell me a ticket uh, the same thing happened to us in korea i'm not surprised yeah, uh, I'm very happy you're here, you know. Uh, and in Switzerland, in Zurich, uh, in Toronto, in Montreal. And we're very, very excited about going to New York. The Big Apple. Yeah. Here you come. In January. Wonderful. We'll be for three weeks at the Scribble Center uh, at NYU. Excellent. And we're bringing it with us, not by bread alone, but a small version also of Blackout. Uh, the people the restaurant yeah uh, it's a small version it uh, uh, so people can experience the darkness and be in the show yeah excellent sounds uh, really like a wonderful opportunity both for you and for the Americans Adina one more thing yeah the the play you made for children yes can you say a few words yeah well as you as you know we have uh, deaf waiters in the coffee shop, blind waiters in the blackout, and we wanted to give the waiters an opportunity uh, to do something else. And, and over three years, they got some of them got um, trained as actors, and the outcome is a very beautiful children's show called Prince Rooster, which is performed by four deaf waiters, actors, and two visually impaired actors uh, that learn to communicate. Just the idea of deaf and blind people communicating is crazy. And, I th and the show is bilingual. It's in uh, Hebrew and in sign language. Wow. This is something we should see. And you are also, you are also in addition of performing here, you are performing uh, outside. You are going yeah. to schools? Yes. With the children's show, definitely yes. Uh, not, show, not with this one. Uh, you need a big stage. We need a big stage and also we want people to come to the center, right. experience the capiche, experience blackout. Yeah. Okay, final words? Shall it never end? I don't know. Adi Natal, this has been a pleasure and an honor. Good luck and shalom.